Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. You asked me to make this video a little while ago, and I know it's taken a little while, but as you've probably seen, we've been super busy, so here it is. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button right now and turn on that little bell to receive notifications. We upload basically every single day of the week, so do yourself a big old favor and make sure you're subscribed. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to update and or install the latest NVIDIA GPU drivers in Ubuntu. I'm gonna try and keep this as short and as sweet as humanly possible. This video is brought to you by Thermaltake and the Level 20 GT full tower case. Featuring support for EATX motherboards, four tempered glass panels with a lockable hinged door, the latest I.O. port options including USB Type-C and USB 3.0, and support for basically any type of custom water cooling system you could ever possibly imagine. Find out more about the Level 20 GT at the link in the description. This guide applies to Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, 18.10, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, or any of the Buntus. It can also be applied to Linux Mint, Debian, Elementary OS, or any other Debian-based distributions. Let's do it. I'm gonna make this as easy as humanly possible for you. What you wanna do is head over to software and updates and see which driver you actually have enabled. Now, I would recommend actually installing the proprietary driver as it installs an application that allows you to remove the NVIDIA drivers, whereas there are a few things you have to do with Grub otherwise if you use the Nuvo driver, which makes it a little bit more tricky to uninstall. So this is gonna make it as easy as humanly possible for anyone who is new at Ubuntu. Right, let's head over to the NVIDIA website and download the latest driver. Now this machine I've actually used an RTX card in before, so I'm gonna download the latest version of this RTX driver, even though it's like the regular driver as well, but mainly because I swap the RTX in to this machine every now and again, and I also use a 1060 in it as well. Once the file is downloaded, you want to open up your terminal. What we're going to do is change the execution permissions on this file and run the installer to show you what will happen if you attempt to install the driver if you have an existing driver already. And I'll just, I'll put all of the commands and everything you need to do in the description as well. But yeah, you can follow on screen because I'll have everything there right for you to see. Now you will get an installation failure error just like you saw then. So you want to run this command here because it'll allow you to uninstall the NVIDIA drivers that already are installed. Now you can either like follow it exactly with the recommended setting or you could just follow exactly the way that I have it here because every system is kind of different but usually the option that it selects is the one that is best for your system. Once it's uninstalled, you want to go ahead and reboot your system. Once you're rebooted, open up a terminal and change to wherever you have that file that we previously launched downloaded so we can run the installer. And you want to run it as root using sudo or sudo, depends on the, what you want to call it for different strokes for different Linux folks. Right, so once the installer has launched, we will go through this process of installing the NVIDIA driver, well, the latest one. So yeah, you just want to hit continue installation because I've had other drivers installed on this machine. It has a few other things left over. Uh, this is optional. You don't have to do this. This is mainly if you're trying to install your own custom kernel or you're compiling a kernel from source. Most of the time when you update Ubuntu or, or Linux Mint or any distribution of that whole Ubuntu slash Debian family, it should be okay. Once it builds the kernel modules, it's gonna give you a few more options to customize the installation. Now you can install this, it depends if, it, it just depends on what you wanna do. I, I usually install it. Now this is more to do with API translation. You can install this, you cannot install it, it doesn't matter, it's up to you. It just depends on what you are using your system for. For gaming, it, it shouldn't make much of a difference. And just let it continue to install the driver. It's very, very easy even for newcomers. I select no here all the time 
because Ubuntu handles its XORG config slightly differently to other distributions. Once you're done with that, you want to reboot and your drivers should be initialized so you'll see everything in full resolution and run NVIDIA settings just to double check that the driver has actually been installed. This is a very, very slick way to install drivers for Linux. It's a lot easier than it used to be, I can tell you that now. And in the next video, we're actually going to show you how to do AMD GPU drivers, but I'm not sure when that video is going to come out. Maybe it will come out tomorrow. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below, but if you run into any issues, please don't leave like an essay in the comment section because it makes it really hard to reply. Your best option is to join the Discord community and one of our Linux community members can come and help you out because there's actually quite a few of us Linux guys in there. So yeah, there's a link to the Discord in the description. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, tell us what you hated about it. <laughs> Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your big old boy, Nick, with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. And how many days till PAX now? Twelve. It's two days, Claire. Yeah, but if you're minus ten, then there's your answer. Okay, that makes sense. Science.